Hello everybody, my name is Tom Seidner and I am a professor at a community college and one of the things I like to do in my class is I like to use the utility Kahoot to allow my students to review for tests and it gives them a way to compete with each other and it's fun for them and they seem to have a good time doing it and they kind of learn why they don't even realize they're learning. So I really like using Kahoot. The one bad thing about using Kahoot is you have to make the tests and they're kind of time consuming. Now if you don't know what Kahoot is, uh, Kahoot is a website that you can go to where you can make up tests and the students can compete against each other answering the questions. It's kind of like a trivia where they answer the questions as quickly as they can and then they get um, you know feedback immediately on who got the answer right the quickest and they have a score and a leaderboard and they compete against each other and they really like it. It's good for all ages. Uh, I know they use it in grade schools a lot but it, even at the university level it seems to be really really popular. So the thing I like about it is that you can uh, do all of these things for your students but the thing I don't like is that you have to make the quizzes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in here. I have a login section here and you can see that I have some quizzes. But when you make a quiz manually, it is a really long uh, process. You have to you know, put in the question and you have to um, put in all the answers and say which one's the answer and so on and so forth. So uh, I give a lot of quizzes in my classes in Blackboard and so I thought it would be a good idea to actually write a program that allows me to convert my quizzes that I have in my classes or my tests into a file that I can upload directly into Kahoot's. So that's what I did. I wrote a program called bb to kahoot uh, I'm currently on uh, version 2.0 and I have some thoughts for the future, but I thought I'd make this video in case anybody wanted to use this program and uh, use it for their conversions because it's very handy. So if you get the program, you're going to get it in a zip file. I've made the program portable, so you do not have to go through any install. So if you have limitations on your computer through the security of the place where you work, uh, you can go ahead and run this. As long as you can save the file to either your documents or your desktop, you should be able to run it without any installation. So that avoids the need for IT to have to come down and install it for you and all that stuff. So you'll get it in a zip file. You're going to unzip it. When you unzip it, it's going to be in a single folder. And when you uh, open up that folder, you're going to see that there's a bb 2 kahoot exe and that's all you need to run. Just run that and the program will come up. And here is the program in its entirety. Now you're going to need two things to use bb 2 kahoot You're going to need a export from a Blackboard test file and then you're going to need a location where you want to save the file. The file defaults to saving on your desktop so whatever your desktop is is going to automatically come up here and it's going to default to the name of kahoot.xlsx. So first of all I need to export a test from Blackboard so I'm going to go into one of my Blackboard courses. I'm going to go from the beginning so you guys can see how to do this. So let me log in. So I'm going to pick this course, Understanding Technology Today. <clears throat> Once I'm in my course, I'm going to go down to Course Tools. And then I'm going to scroll down to Test Surveys and Pools. And then I'm going to go into Tests. And I'm going to pick the test that I want to convert to Cahoots. And I want to convert my midterm. So I'm going to go down here to Midterm Exam. And then I'm going to simply just export it. Now when I export it, it's going to export it to my download directory in my computer so here it is uh, and I can go ahead and show it in my download directory and you can see that it's in my downloads and here it is and then I can actually convert it right here from my downloads area I don't even have to um, move it out of there so uh, once I have the file exported from Blackboard then I can go into my BB to Cahoots program and I'm going to select that file so I'm just going to click the button here I'm going to go into my downloads and then I'm just going to find that test that I exported. So here's my test export. And I want the midterm exam for CSC 115. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select that as my uh, test that I want to convert. The next thing I can change my output file, but I don't really want to change it at this point. I'm going to have it put it on my desktop. So that is correct. But if you wanted to change that, you would just click here, select where you wanted the file to go, and then hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose right now the uh, BB2Kahoot program will allow you to pull out multiple choice files. 
true or false files, and also the combination of both. In this case, I want to do both, but if I only wanted true or false, I'd just uncheck multiple choice, or if I only wanted multiple choice, I'd uncheck true or false. But I want to go ahead and get them all, so I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. And then I'm going to simply click Convert. It's going to go ahead and convert. It's going to tell me how many questions were converted, and that's it. I'm done. So I'm going to shut that down, and I'm going to see that I now have this Kahoot.xl X file uh, on my desktop, and this is the file that I can upload into Kahoot. First thing I'd like to note is this file is uh, based on the template that Kahoot requires for uploading, and if you open it up and look at it in Excel, and keep in mind you don't have to ever open it up, but in here it will tell you, if you expand these, what the limitations are on these, and you can see that the max characters for a question are 95 characters, each one of the answers is a maximum of 60 characters. Now, not all of your questions from Blackboard are going to fall into that category, and Kahoot's is going to kick them out, and I'm going to show you that here in a minute. I think in the future I'm going to add an option to my program that saves everything in two files. One file are all the questions that will automatically upload into Kahoot's without any modification, and then another file that are questions that are either too long in the answer or too long in the question and you're going to have to modify them and then once you modify them you can upload those as well but for now it's going to go into one big file and uh, Kahoot is just going to kick out any ones that don't meet the criteria so now let me show you how easy it is to upload this into Kahoot so I'm going to go back to my Kahoot uh, this is where I keep all of the Kahoot that I've made so here's some that I've made or gotten from other people I'm going to do create new I'm going to create a quiz, and then I'm going to say the name of this is the CSC 115 midterm, and this is my midterm review, so I'm going to put midterm review in there. Uh, it requires you to put something in the description, so I'm going to put the same thing. Okay, and then I usually make uh, these private to me uh, because they're so big and probably not everybody's going to want them, but you could make them public if you wanted. So now I've got everything I need to actually make a Kahoot. I'm going to say, OK, go. At this point, I have the option to import from a spreadsheet. And here's where I'm going to import the file that I created with bb to kahoot I'm going to click on here. It says Select File. I'm going to go to my desktop, which is where that is. And then I'm going to pick my uh, Kahoot XLSX that I created. And then I'm going to create hit Upload. And when I upload, it's going to go upload it, and then it's going to tell me all the questions that got kicked out. And it'll tell you why. So this says uh, there's a few characters too long in the description, and so on and so forth. So you can actually go through here at this point and see what questions did not get uploaded to your Kahoots. Um, at this point, I'm just going to hit, I don't care about these. I'm going to let these fall out because I've got plenty of questions for the review. I'm going to hit continue. And you can see that it just created my Kahoots with all these questions and answers in there. So I've got 243 uh, questions and answers. Some are multiple choice, some are true or false. Once I have that done, I can just save it. And then I'm going to say I'm done. And it's going to take me back to where all my Kahoots are. And now I have a new Kahoot. That's my CSC 115 midterm review. It's got 243 questions in it, and I'm ready to play. So I can present this to my students. They can play it in the classroom, and uh, we can see who has the best knowledge, and the students really love it. So that's it. If you think this is useful and you'd like to have a copy of this, contact me or leave me a message in the comments below, and I will get you a copy of the zip file. And you can start converting your Blackboard tests into Kahoot's.